Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Things You Love in Life. This is a thrift haul, and this will be my last for a while because I am trying to catch up on Doctor Who right now because I am going to a special event that has to do with Doctor Who. It's in 3D, so I need to catch up on it, and I'm only on the fourth season in the beginning of the fourth season so I have a long ways to go so this will be my last thrift haul for a while so let's get caught up with this and the first thing I am wearing this I love this I, it reminds me as I always say it reminds me a lot but it does it reminds me of this movie back in the 90s that I was fond of which was Freaked with Randy Quaid and there's a woman uh, that is one of the mutants that has a bald head and really big teeth and she wore something like this at one point in the movie. So I, that's why I got this. But I will be selling this on my shop and most of this stuff will be up on my sh shop if it's not already. So I will have a link below by the end of this video. So let's get started. While I listen to Frank Sinatra, he will guide me along this way to this thrift hall. So, let's get started. This silver vase, it's not silver plate, it's actually real silver, and it's stacked of roses, and it's super heavy, but it's a candle holder vase, candle holder vase, candle holder vase, whatever. Um, and it has like a bow to it and it's just really pretty especially if you want to have it as a centerpiece for the table that I'm keeping I'm keeping that so sorry I said I was gonna have most of this stuff on most of this stuff the next thing is these two really gothic looking candle holders I might sell these at some point on my shop but until then I'm gonna use it for films and I'm going to use them as the centerpieces for my dinners when I move out. And they're just, I don't know if they're brass, but they have a really gothic look to them. I just love them. thing I love puppy dogs is, you might see yourself. You might see yourself because it's a mirror. Yes, do you see yourself? <laughs> but yes, this is... Uh, I think is, this was made in the 70s, I'm assuming, but this is just a uh, wall hanging piece and it is a bunch of dogs at a plain pool. <sighs> this is for me. I'm not getting rid of this one. I can put a turkey on this. It is a silver plated just tray um, with little legs to it and it'll look good with a turkey or chicken or whatever with it and it's a beautiful piece. I've been wanting something like this for Thanksgiving or Christmas and I found it. Finally found it. It's really weird. I mean, maybe I'll just shush shush and then you might see. Nineteen eighties cuddle me toy. Spaceman or I'm thinking more of that. <laughs> Cause it looks like they're quarantining um, you know, the Ebola victim and he's just hanging out and he that's his day job. He, you know, quarantines deadly virus people. Yeah, this is a cuddle me toy. Can you believe that? This is crazy. But it's been definitely been worn and worn out because of the iridescent film. It's like peeling off of it. And it's just crazy that it's a cuddle me toy. I love this. I can't believe I found this at the thrift store for really cheap. It was crazy because I've been wanting one of these. I already have one. But finding another one was like jackpot at the thrift store. Uh, it is an umbrella, of course, as you can see, and I'm going to give myself bad luck. <laughs> but look at this. Look at how nice this is. It's pretty. It, it, they should make, ah, 
Huh. They should make some like these anymore. Did I break this? Please don't tell me I broke this. They should make these a lot more. I dislike it because you could see right through. You could still walk and cover yourself. It's nice. <laughs> this is a 90s hat. Obviously. This is a hat. I'm definitely putting this up on my shop. Maybe I should take this off and try to show it to you. Demonstrate. <gasps> and let's put it on. Oh yeah. Nice, right? Nice. <laughs> not on me, not on me. No, no, no. <laughs> it's so nice. Look at the feathers. Look at how pretty that is. That looks really nice. It's like, where is my gray papon? My gray papon. 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 Going up on my shop. It ain't. Yeah. I'm thinking it's men's. It could be for girls, unisex. It could be unisex, but I like the interesting buckles to the sides of them. It says patent pending, and it's a size. Well, it's, it says IS inspired sole, and it's very factory worker, almost 20s. Kind of has a steampunk look to it, and. Uh, just like the design of it really and they're in really good condition I think they're a size 9 I'm not sure I'm thinking it's a size 9 well you'll figure it out eventually because these will be up on my shop and they look very minimalist and gothic and just works it's very versatile shoes and I think they look really good if you are a size 9 I'm thinking these are a size 9 but these will be up on my shop very, very soon. So stay tuned for these beautiful babies. Deliciously sexy cowboy or girl boots. I love them. They are a little big on me. They are an eight and a half. But these are beautiful cowboy boots. God, look at them. They are really, really pretty tiny bracelet. Well, it's not tiny, but it is a bracelet that I will be putting up on my shop very soon, too. It is a 60s uh, tiki kind of looking bracelet. I think it's very, very pretty. I love the design of it. It's just really, really, really pretty. And if you're into this kind of jewelry, it's really nice to have this because it feels it's like a almost like a Chinese checker type of tile um, beads it feels really nice to the touch of the skin it's cool and just smooth I love it but I just don't really wear bracelets so I'll give it to someone or I'll sell it to someone that does like this so the first one is I'm gonna be doing a lookbook Okay, this is not the this is the last thrift haul, but I'll do a little book next week because I have been losing a little bit of weight, and I wanted I wanted to do a little bit bit of a plus size book book, so I will do that first next week, and then I'll have to like do a little vacation on my videos just because I gotta catch up with Doctor Who. So, but this is a picnic style. Fabric. Well, it's a picnic table cover it's theme fabric skirt and some maxi skirt. It is a size size 10, I believe. Yes, size 10. I like that it's stretchable right here. It's a spandex to uh, in the back of it. It has a zipper and a button and you can just pull it over. It's like a sheer fabric to it and it has a um, lining on the inside of it to kind of help not see through so much and it's black sheer too. That is really really pretty. Oh god, you can see it. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if I should sell it or not. It's so small. Definitely from the 90s. Um, I'm going to put it on my mannequin for a little while, but it is a 90s 
tank top with flowers, uh, orange, baby pink, and hot pink fabric. And it's got these beautiful looking floral pattern to it. I used to wear stuff like this. I used to wear stuff like this in middle school. I mean, yeah, middle school, 90s, definitely 90s. And it is just this silky, psychedelic, 90s psychedelic shirt top blouse. It's got accordion fabric to it, and it's just crazy looking. And it's got ruffle coll um, cuffs to it, and it's just, it's just crazy. Very 90s, and I love it. It's just really, it's going to look good with pictures, photography, because I do some ugly theme women pictures. Um, I thought it was like a new thing, but they, I don't think it is, I think it's from the 90s, because who in the hell does shoulder pads anymore? They don't, because I know this, now I know for sure that this is from the 90s. It is a striped black and gray striped blouse and it it looks amazing it's got the most amazing look to it and it fits me nicely and I'm keeping this definitely for sure and I will do a lookbook on that too soon so you'll get to see what it looks like together with something I bought this to go with this uh, mohair type of top that I have it's lavender crop top uh, it's long sleeves, and I thought this would look really good. It looks very 90s. Um, it's a silver, silk, I don't know, sheer silk, uh, shiny fabric to it. It's just wet looking, but shiny. It's crazy. I love it. It's a maxi skirt. Um, it's a size 8, so it's on the little on the small side for me right now, but I'm getting there slowly with my health habits now. And... It's gonna look good when I do a book book, so I'll do a book book on that too. It's really cool looking 60s dress. It's definitely on the big, big size. Excuse me, um, right now. But you can definitely belt this and make it look smaller for your waist, which I will be doing too in the look book next week. So you get to really see what it looks like. And I think it's really pretty. The pattern's very, very pretty. And I love it. I just love it. It's real long. And if you can see the pattern, it looks really good. So I will do a lookbook on that too. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, that was very short, but I wanted to show you all the stuff that I have that will be on my shop and is on my shop right now. So go to this link below right here. That one right here. Yeah, that one. And go to it and just enjoy the bright colors, or if you want to buy, you can buy, uh, anything uh, you want to do, ask me questions, whatever. But um, stay tuned. Eventually I will come back and do some very interesting videos as well as more thrift haul. So please subscribe below if you enjoy this. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. But um, yeah, just enjoy. I hope you enjoy this. So. Please come back and stay tuned for more craziness. Bye, guys.